Hi there, Glenn Murphy here. Uh, hope everyone's good. Uh, just following up from yesterday, actually. Uh, I suppose this is life, life stories or true stories too. And here I am, standing outside the little sailing club here. And I suppose the real message, for yesterday anyway, which is, the, and as I say, this will be a follow-on, was making those tough decisions. And that was a very tough decision for me, to, you know, in the early 20s, well, I was in my early 20s, in the early 80s, to make that decision to actually decide to get off the hamster wheel, not, you know, not conform. There was a lot of people like my father and family and people saying, well, you know, you've got a good job, you know, you've got a steady girlfriend and some of your friends are thinking about buying their first flat and getting on the ladder. And, uh, you know, and it was quite quite a difficult decision but I always believed that the difficult decisions are the ones that and the ones that that really push you to, 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 to sort of step outside that comfort zone and the ones that really pay off and as I said before I ended up landing on one of the Greek islands with my little rucksack and friends that were supposed to join me didn't 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 do it they, they threw the towel in and didn't decided to uh, they bottled out let's say and uh, I had done it and since then because of that and I've realised there was parallel lives out there. I, I carved out an incredible adventure for myself, good and bad. And I'm now here in Italy uh, with my partner. That would never have happened. I've lived in many different places, and I will tell you about some of the ups and downs through the, the next videos. But the, the, the true message, really, is to make those tough decisions. And you know, if you, if you really want to do it, you can always you can always go back. I mean, I remember landing on the in Greece thinking well this works or I go back with a towel between my legs and I've had a great holiday or you know I find work and spend you know some time traveling and I was away for a, in total about 18 months but uh, it was uh, an incredible journey and since that time I've gone backwards and forwards to London and lived in different places and as I said I will will cover some of that stuff but the, the real the real point here is is that you know getting involved with something that like SFM or you know, and, and, and re-educating yourself, stepping outside your comfort zone, doing something new at any age, whether you're young or you know, you know, in your early 50s like me, uh, it, it's worth it's worth having a look and it's worth doing because you can run it parallel with something you're already doing. You can go full steam ahead, you know, 10 hours a day, or you can do two hours a day. You can choose, but you'll be setting something up that will run as long as you want it to run. And it can be a, you know, a bit of a boost with your cash flow or it can become something you really love doing. And it will teach you other attributes and things that, you know, with the, the wonderful platform that they've got there to, to use it in other areas of your life. It's a, it's a real, real process. And, you know, make, that, make those tough decisions because if you don't, you'll always regress it. I, I, I can't imagine, I, I go back to London sometimes I've got some friends that were supposed to come with me on that trip, and I'm not saying they haven't done well. Some of them have, some of them haven't. But they're, you know, they're in the same barrio. A lot of them are doing the same thing, and they always say, "God, you know, that when they've come to visit me on some of my little trips in different parts of the world, and they've always say, oh, when I retire, I'm going to do it. When I retire, I'm going to do that. You know, when I when I get some more money, I'm going to do that. When I when." when <laughs> You know, when I split up with my girlfriend or I leave my wife or the kids grow up, I don't know, I'm going to do that. And they never do it. And I know one thing. I remember my, my father's brother, one of his brothers, died at 55. Heart problems. And after the funeral, we walked around the uh, cemetery and my dad said, have a look at those tombstones. Have a look at, look at the graves. Look at the stones and look at the dates. There's not too many people over 65 there. Maybe that's why pensions start at 65, I don't know. But the message, and I never forgot it, is that don't wait. Don't wait to make decisions. Because if you really feel you want to do something, do it. Because it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. You've had a shot at it. And also, you can always go back. You know, it's, you know I've made so many mistakes. I've had some successes and some incredible, incredible failures and you know some of my friends that have stayed in uh, the UK have done incredibly well they've stayed in the same barrio stayed in the same job and you know but I truly believe you've got to follow your passion
and if there's something burning inside you there's a little candle there put some fuel on it and, and, and go for it because you'll, you'll, you'll regret it more than not having a shot so on that note I think I'm not sure I think you can see me it's a bit of a the sun's going down in the back there and the lights are coming on uh, but anyhow great talking with you guys again and all the best to all of you on your journey as I always say enjoy the journey destination never really arrives because there's always another one so good good afternoon or good late afternoon to you all and here's, a, here's some guys listen look at this little boat here just have a quick look and then I'm going to switch off they're, they're, some of these guys are coming back from work believe it or not this boat that's going past me in the background can you see it maybe it's too far away I don't know here it comes that boat there is a boat that goes over to a, another part across the bay people commute on that backwards and forwards to work and the, in the summertime the tourists get on as well so they're gonna go and have a wine and I think I'm gonna go and join them so all the best now take care speak soon